spoken and phonetics for changes and adult learners. Class 7 How to ask questions in English Are you asking this to me? No, that is the topic. So, Zorin, English is the question of English is important. Yes. If you want to continue the conversation with human beings, you want to ask them. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to ask questions in English. There are eight types of questions and their intonations. Now, a question can come, what do we mean by intonation? Yeah, what do we mean by intonations? Intonation meaning the music in sentences. For example, uh, I'm going to sentence English, English bowl, but I'm going to humming chorus. Okay. What do you do? <laughs> How can I help you? <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Is this your job? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> so, I'm going to act a sentence with the humming music. Yes. It's just intonation. Wow. And you know what? Then the sentences, the questions, they also feel like they're one kind of music. Yeah. Music is there, definitely. Now, uh, how many questions? Are there? I mean, types of questions. So this you already told us there are eight types of questions, and yeah. we'll be also learning their intonations in this topic. Right. What is the first type? The first type is yes, no questions. Sir, whenever I read the name yes, no questions, something came to my mind, and that is whenever we're going to ask any question, if we answer in yes or no, then those are called yes, no questions. Very true. Very true. For example, if you say, are you mad? No, I'm not. So the answer is no, right? Yeah. Are you crazy? Yes, I am. Okay. Are you off your head? No. Okay. So, yeah. Are you yes, sir? The lie. Okay. Now, uh, so this is yes, no question. I mean, if yes. you get the yes or no answer, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm ready to go to put here. Fatima, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I'm Zareen. Is Yasir back? Yes, he is. Have you finished? No, I haven't. So, I'm ready to ask you a yes or no. What is the second type of question? WH questions or information question. Why do we call it information question? Well, whenever we ask this kind of question to any person, we seek for information from we that person. We cannot say yes or no. Yes, we cannot say yes or no. For like, example, what do you do? We cannot say yes, I do. Right. Or you can say just yes. You cannot. Yeah. Right. So I'm asking you. So but you do that kind of work. Whenever I ask you that, are you mad? You say yes, mad. Yes, mad yes, is a good name. Yeah. But you do not say the correct type of answer. Yeah, that's a tricky answer. What's your nickname? It's Zareen. Yeah, you cannot say yes or no, right? Yeah. Where do you live? I live at Mohammedpur. Well, yesterday. You told me the difference between live and stay, didn't you? I did. What is that? Yeah, I'll tell later. How are you? Not good. Who did it to you? You. That's a good name. Okay, what is the third number question? Tag questions. Well, I don't have that much idea about tag questions. Can you give me the concept? Of course I can. Tag questions meaning it's a small type of questions tagged with this statement. For example, it's hot, isn't it? So, isn't so it? So, there will be a statement, like an assertive sentence, which we call in grammar, and then we're going to ask a question. Mm -hmm. Not always assertive, there can be imperative. Any also. statement, right? Mm. So, uh, the last small question is tagged with a statement or with an imperative particle, uh, that is a tag question. When tag question is uttare, yes or no answer, Ashi, usually. For example, He's right, isn't he? Yes, he is. They are there, aren't they? No, they aren't. He helped you, didn't he? Yes, he did. The fourth type of question is called the polite questions. So, whenever people say this, they say in a polite manner or a formal manner, right? Mm -hmm. uh, directly, you cannot ask somebody's name. Okay? That's impolite. So, if politeness is there, that is called the polite question. In mm -hmm. many cases, you need this. For example, you cannot ask your teacher, like, uh, Sarah, are you hungry? <laughs> uh, that sounds not really. It's not good. 
I'd like to know your name, sir. Or we can say, may I know your name, please? Yeah, this courteous sentence. Could you please tell me your name? How should I call you? Mm -hmm. If you could tell me the way to New Market. Could you tell me how to get to New Market? So, shop gulo mo the politeness right here. Yes. The fifth type of question is called the spoken, spoken questions. Spoken questions. Spoken questions grammatically wrong. Wrong. WS part T last day chole jai. Me abar bolle chhi, it is grammatically wrong. But in English movies, native speakers ra jo kono normally kotha bolle thara a spoken questions gulo khub use kore thake. And you know, it seems so smart. Whenever the native speakers speak these kinds of sentences, I just don't ever realize that it's grammatically wrong. Hmm. It's just it gives the taste of the sentence. Uh-huh. It gives a taste to the question. Yeah. So the first one is he said what? এর বাংলাটা আমরা একটু মজা করে যদি বলতে পারি ও ও কি বলেছে আমি জানতে যাচ্ছি ও আসলে কি বলেছে আর আমরা অনেক সময় রাগ হয়ে এ ওই কি কইছে ওই কি কইছে মানে হচ্ছে এক ধরনের অ্যাঙ্গার ইজ দ্য হ্যাড রাইট হ্যাঁ ওই তুই কি করছস মার্কারবার্গে <laughs> 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 Okay. Mark Zuckerberg. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the sixth type of question is surprising questions. Uh at the assertive sentence the last a key uh, uh, punctuation mark uh, generally a full stop. A full stop definitely. But if you put a question mark at the end of an assertive sentence it becomes a surprising question. It will look awful. Yeah. Among it tone to upore chole jay. For example, he died. He died. You live here? Hmm. And you got surprised, right? You got A plus. Yeah, I did. Any doubt? Yeah. <laughs> okay. She failed? Yeah. Any doubt? It, She no, deserved. no, no. <laughs> And what is the seventh type of question? Double questions. In English, it is a Dhaka Vishwadala Shabhi Mena Bhurti Parikha Shumai question to you. It is a English, it is a double question to you. It is a double question to you. For example, do you know what is his name? এখানে দুটো প্রশ্ন রয়েছে ডু ইউ নো এন্ড হোয়াট ইজ হিজ নেম বাট উই ক্যান নট সে টু কোশ্চেনস এট আ সেম লাইন অর এট আ সেম স্টেটমেন্ট রাইট ইয়া সো হোয়াট ইজ দ্য রাইট সেন্টেন্স ডু ইউ নো হোয়াট হিজ নেম ইজ ইয়া দ্য ইজ ইজ দ্য ইজ ইজ দ্য ইজ ইজ ইন দি এন্ড ইয়া ডু ইউ নো হোয়াট ইজ দ্য প্রাইস ইজ ইট এ রাইট কোশ্চেন দ্যাটস রং রং আ হোয়াট ইজ রাইট ওয়ান ডু ইউ নো হোয়াট দ্য প্রাইস ইজ হোয়াট ইজ দ্য প্রাইস ইজ ইয়া ডু ইউ নো হোয়াট দ্য প্রাইস ইজ And the last question is called what? Elliptic questions. Elliptic, this word comes from the ellipsis, meaning shortening. Okay. Okay. When you say, you can 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 say, It and then sometimes whenever your father doesn't take you outside mm-hmm. and you're a lovely girl a lovely daughter of your father you are sitting on the um balcony and playing with your doll in a sad mood and then your father comes and then asks you rakura mm-hmm. show and that feeling becomes like oh my god he is my prince he is my king and everything mm-hmm. that feeling is the best feeling yeah. for a daughter in this world so boro question ke choto choto kore kora tai hocche elliptic question সো যেমন ধরো এখানে আমরা ছোট প্রশ্ন এবং এর বড় ভার্সনটাও দিয়ে দিয়েছি সো আমি ছোটটা বলি তুমি বড়টা বলো Have you understood? Like it? Do you like it? Hungry? Are you hungry? That's great. Sir, sometimes I see few of the native speakers. They sometimes say you angry? 
Mm-hmm. You hungry? You hungry? Yeah. Uh, they do not use the do or are you or yeah. have you, mm-hmm. but they say the you only. Or sometimes they pronounce you as yeah. You hungry? You hungry? Yeah, you hungry? Yeah. You doing what? Mm, you doing what? You doing what? Ki kursos dos? Yeah, you are doing what? Doing so it what? means that what are you doing actually? So, so you doing what? Yeah. So doing it is what? a mixture of spoken questions as well as elliptic questions. Okay. So now Zarin Amra and questions are the exercises which I mean questions to bolbo to me bolbo is it a kun type of questions, right? Oh my god. Okay. Did you like the orientation class read? Yes, no question. That's true. Who informed you about this little kids? W H questions. Will your friends come to do the easy English course? Yes, no questions. I'd like to know her name, please, Pusha. Polite question. He is dead. Surprising question. What? Mm, elliptic question. It is. You are the youngest son, aren't you? You're the youngest son, aren't you? Uh, so this is a tag question. It is. You did what? Ha <laughs> ha, spoken question. You met who? Again, spoken question. Done? Elliptic question. Can you tell me Alidita how old he is? Can you tell me Alidita how old he is? So this is a double question. It is, it is. How did you do this? WH question. In which Look, room? This is not W H at the front, but whenever we are pronouncing it, it pronu- uh, it just gets pronounced like W H. Mm-hmm. And the next one? In which room? Mm-hmm. This is the W H question, mm-hmm. but actually it's an elliptic question. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was going to tell that that it was an, an elliptic question because you are in which room? We mm-hmm. are not saying that. We're just saying in which room? Yeah. If you don't mind, please tell me your name. If you don't mind, please tell me your name. This is a polite question. How long have you been waiting for me? W H question. Do you know where the god is? Yes, no question. May I be excused? This one is a polite question as well as a yes no question. Can you tell me Ayana what I can do for her? This is a double question. Bangladesh is a peaceful country, isn't she? Tag question. Should you waste your time just by chit-chatting? Yes, no question. Who did this to you? W H question. Aisha did what to you? Spoken question. Isn't Tisal Bidi the best in teaching English? Hmm, isn't he Sol Bidi? So this is a yes no question. What does Tisal stand for? W H question and the answer is teaching English to speakers of other languages. Who can tell what my fault is? W H question or a double question. Isn't Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the best human? This is a yes no question. It is. How could you say that to me? What did I do? Yeah, what type of question is that? <laughs> w H question. Who is your favorite teacher? Why? I'm not going to answer this but the question is W H question. I know the answer. Whose ideologies influenced you the most? This is also a W H question. Is your country beautiful? Yes, no question. How do you say that in English? Mm, w H question. Mhm. Can you define love? Yes, no question. But I can. What is that? I won't tell. Oh, that's a nice definition. Could you please repeat that, Lamia? That's not my name. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's not my name, but I have to say what type of question it is. So this is a yes no question and also a polite question. What is the synonym of the word antonym? Hey. What was that? I mean, what type of question is that? <laughs> WH question. But do another answer. Opposite word? Yeah, it is. Uh, would you like to be with with us? This is a polite question Doesn't and also a yes no question. Like I'll answer mm. either in yes or no. Doesn't Tesla Liu Kai teach online? Yes no question. Yeah. So, we are done with this question time. Now, we'll go for the idioms. Okay. So, you'll say the idioms and I'll say the meaning of the idioms. Yeah, yeah, that'd be okay. nice, right? He's the apple of my eye. It doesn't mean that he looks like an apple to my eye. 
It means he is my favorite person. But I also tell all of you to be careful. Like you use the fruit apple here, but never say he is an egg of my eye. Or he is a jackfruit <laughs> of my eye. Yes. <laughs> then people will feel embarrassed. Okay. Apple is very nutritious. It's red in color, and red attracts people. So people actually. um describe the attractive things and they compare it with apples and serene is the orange of my eye <laughs> no i'm not an orange i'm an okay. apple he is a rotten egg what does it mean he is a thoroughly evil person it's for the birds it's a crazy idea she eats like a bird she eats little or nothing uh, are you like this and uh, no i eat a lot um That doesn't mean I eat junk foods a lot. I eat nutritious food, but you know, after eating a little, whenever fasting and at the do, time do you, of Easter. Do you eat chicken? Not raw. You eat chicken. No. You, I eat fried chicken. Fried chicken. Yes. But the dead fried chicken, right? No, you slaughter it. I mean, you do not kill it. I mean, it's dead fried chicken. Is it just say yes or no? No. Then live fried chicken yeah a live fried chicken yeah i go okay. to facebook live and then i cook the chicken and that is an a live fried chicken right no no the chicken you eat dead fried chicken right a live fried chicken because i go facebook live every time i cook chicken what is the next one um it's your turn to oh, say yeah. he's a wolf in sheep's clothing he is a bad guy pretending to be good i smell a rat Someone has betrayed us. He's chicken-hearted. He has no courage. Are you chicken-hearted? No. I could eat a horse. I'm extremely hungry. Please don't monkey around. Get serious and stop playing. We'll kill two birds with one stone. One solution solves two problems. Zarin, I have written this uh poem. and the name of the poem is oh god and amra eta ekline ekline kore amra shundor kore pori with with my nice intonation yeah. and feelings so shall you start or yeah I? oh god oh god from my heart i adore thee out of so deep love you created me i was nothing yes my shape you gave you show right path from danger is safe to live you give water air and food i'm grateful your blessings are so good i'm taking the test you gave to me make just as you want me to be when i'll breathe my last to meet you i'll give all the thanks as i do oh my god it's so heart touching it is what is the last activity Do you and then I do not understand this. I mean, this? it's a do you type questions okay. and you need to give the answers why. So I'll ask you questions and you'll give me answers, right? Okay. Should I give answers according to this or? Yeah, according to do this okay. and uh, a little elaboration is there. Okay. Do you love your parents? Yes, I do. That's my duty. Uh, no, I'll say why and then you'll show the okay, reason. Okay. Okay. Do you love your parents? Yes, I do. Why? That's my duty. You can use a word because that's my duty. Yeah. Do you hate smoking? Yes, I do. Why? Cuz it's harmful. Hmm, it is. Do you get up early? Yes, I do. Why? Because it's a good habit. It is. It's a good habit. Do you help the distressed? I mean the poor. Yes, I do. What is the reason? because it's our duty and it's a sunnah of our prophet hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to yeah. always stay by the poor all muslims should do it do you eat a lot of fruit no you don't no why not i eat all of the fruits why because it's nourishing do you go to bed late no uh why because i'm used to it ha huh. Okay. Do you watch a lot of TV? Not at all. Why? It's a time waster. It is a bad time waster. Do you love to live in a in the country? I mean in the village. Yes, I do. Why? 
it's pollution free and the environment is really yeah, beautiful. So green, lush green vegetation is there. Yeah. Do you adore your little sister or brother? I don't have any little sister or brother. If, if, if you had? If I had, I wouldn't. You wouldn't? No. Okay, you need to answer accordingly, okay? Yes, I would. And I would love him or her the most in my life. Mm. And you... because that's my duty and that is what they deserve. Yeah. Do you obey your parents? Yes, I do. Why? Because that's my duty. Do you support child marriage? No, I never do. Why? Because that's risky for both a female and a male child. Do you support late marriage then? No. Why? That's also risky. Suppose you are doing an early marriage, then you'll get lots of health problems and issues. And if you marry late, like there is a period like in between 21 to 30 if you marry, then that's the best period for marriage according to my social studies book. But if you marry late, then you may also have some physical problems. And if you marry very early, then the child also has some physical problems that is not good for the health of the child. Do you love to eat sea fishes? Yes, I do. Like dory fish, octopus, and then piranhas. Right? Piranha is one kind of fish that we can eat, right? And crocodiles. Yeah, and then crocodiles, sharks, and then goldfishes, and then megalodon sharks, sharks yeah. and also hammerhead sharks. They are so tasty, right? Uh, are you talking about you? No, I'm talking about you. Yeah, I'm oh, talking yeah. about you. Oh, that's a good name. Yeah, we are talking about you. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. It's a Chinese name. Do you watch Hindi serials? Um, no, I don't because it's related to cultural attacks but sometimes i have to because my grandmom sees that <laughs> okay do you love to play cricket yes i do but though i never played but i know that it's good for health <laughs> do you drink coffee yes i do it's really refreshing whenever you're sleepy and dizzy if you drink a cup of coffee I love this pronunciation coffee mm -hmm. then you'll get lots of energy yeah but add the e sound there after cough or it's cough e yeah do you fight with your friends no i don't why not because it's not expected from me do you listen to folk music folk songs of course i do oh you do yeah i do okay do you support student politics uh, no, I don't. Why? Because I think it's dangerous and life hampering. And do you watch BBC or CNN? Yes, I always do. Why? Because I have the desire to learn English. Mm -hmm. Do you browse the blog of ESSA? Yes, I do sometimes because I want to learn English from him. Do you use Google? Yes, I do. Why? To search info or to browse info. Do you have a Facebook ID? Yes, I do. Why? Well, not for posting anything, not for posting videos, but just to have some knowledge about the pages I'm engaged in and just to create content. Do you like to visit America? Yes, I do. Why? Um, I would like to study there at Harvard University. Do you perform five-time prayer? Yes, I do. Why? Because it's a duty to God. Do you want to smoke in future no i would never want that why not because it's really harmful do you want to learn bbc accent of course i do but now i'm always pronouncing an american accent but bbc accent follows british accent right mm -hmm. but i'm also mastering myself in bbc accent so that's not a problem do you want to get a foreign degree yes i do why for a better career yeah do you eat fast food often? Uh, no, I don't. Why? They are so costly. And they'll kill one you fast. One fried chicken is equals to 100 taka, 100 BDT. One, one dead fried chicken. Don't say that's fried chicken. One alive fried chicken. Okay. Uh, do you drink a lot of soft drinks? Uh, no, I don't. Why not? They are harmful. Yeah, they Rather, are. if we make sherbets out of fruits and especially lemon, mm -hmm. they taste a lot good. They do, they do. Do you cook for yourself? No, I don't. You can't, right? I am not that expert. Okay. Uh, do you want to do a part-time job? If you allow me to do. You are welcome. 
Okay, so that's the end of the class seven. Hope I you have enjoyed. a question for you. Only one question? That question has a lot of twists. Uh -huh. So if I would have told you to join any armed force, like to join the Navy or the Air Force or the normal armed forces, which one would you join and why? Bangladesh Army. Bangladesh Army, why? Well, I worked with them and I saw they're disciplined, they're I smart. I knew you would talk about discipline the very first time. Yeah, and they're, they're smart. Uh, the officers are really smart. They're caring, they're so lovely. Do and you know they're a pride for the country. When I mm. see them receiving badges from the Prime Minister, mm. I feel like if I could be in that place. And one thing I, I saw in, uh, in the cantonment area, when I went to uh, the shore cantonment uh, and Bogura cantonment too, in Dakar Cantonment too. I went if to Bogor Cantonment too. High five. Yeah. If you find any elderly person, whether he's poor or in bad clothes or whatever, you see, the army officer, they give salam. Because you never know, this old gentleman can be a father of another officer. Yeah. So this is it's a custom. And they give salam, they respect. I, I really, I really... Uh, was amazed to see this. So I really love Bangladesh Army. Won't you ask me which force I want to join? Bangladesh Army, I know. No. Then what? Air Force. Air Force. Well, I love flying a lot. Like, I am very interested in airplanes and related to anything related to aircrafts. Also, I am very interested to be an astronaut once in my life. At least go to the moon. <laughs> Not so far, but at least go to the moon. Like, if I go so far, you'll cry in the world. I'll be in the space and you'll be in the world and you'll cry for me, right? Okay. So I do not want to go that It'd far. It'll be my moon in my sky, okay? Don't, don't <laughs> okay. go anywhere. Okay. I'll visit your moon in your okay. sky, okay? But still, I have lots of dreams I want to accomplish, but you cannot accomplish all of your dreams, right? So I want to be an entrepreneur besides being uh, a member you of must, the Air Force. You must, yeah. Yes. You see, Elon Musk... Uh, he has uh, he has uh, some billions billions of dollars and you gave dollars. a post yesterday on Facebook which I saw that a person he was engaged in the army uh, and also he's a professor of science in a university and also he became an astronaut of NASA mm -hmm. three achievements and very very big achievements yeah. which no one can achieve that much easily yeah so dear learners you need to listen to a lot of natural English and try to speak little by little. Wish you very, very good luck. Not little by little, but little by little, okay? Yeah, okay, bye. Bye.